Hi, welcome to section 7 of Computational Thinking and Big Data. In the previous section, you covered the basics of Java and object-oriented programming. In this section, we are going to build on these concepts to see how graphs can store real-world big data. So, what's the deal with graphs? You may be familiar with graphs in mathematics as ways to visualise data. In computer science, the term graph holds special significance. A graph is a data structure consisting of a collection of nodes, and these nodes can be connected together by edges. Each node contains data, and a node can have any number of edges. Each edge represents a link between these two nodes. That is, an edge represents a relationship between two pieces of data. The first part of this section will cover social networks and how these networks can be represented as graphs. This is just one example of the many useful applications of the graph data structure. After this, you will explore the different implementations of graphs in Java. And finally, you will see some of the different traversal, searching, and sorting algorithms used on graphs. Now, let's get started with the first topic. What is a social network? 